Here we have our GP2000 pressure reducing valve. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the spring in the top of the pilot assembly. There's three different spring sizes. The size of the spring is actually the same, but the tension is different. Now, these represent a pressure range that you can set within. So here I've got a brown spring, a yellow spring, and inside the unit, you can see in the back of the notch on the pilot assembly, there's a green spring. So you can easily identify by looking in at the color of the spring. Now, if we're going to change this out, what we're going to undo is the four nuts on the top of the pilot assembly, and this unit will come up. Uh, I've backed them off already with a 17mm socket. One thing to note is this screw on the top, this bolt on the top, sorry, sets the pressure range that you're reducing to. Now, it does that by compressing on the spring, which is on top of the diaphragm. So if this is wound in, when you back these bolts off, there's going to be tension in the unit as it wants to push out against the spring. So it's probably best to make sure this is taken out, backed off. That way, when you take it out like this, there's not going to be any tension. If you're not sure, do the bolts in a diagonal pattern. That way, it will release the tension in the spring as you take the pilot unit off. Now, when you're taking this off, you just got to be carefully take it straight up. And underneath, you will see the spring with its two retainers. It's sitting on top of the diaphragm here. So if we want to change the spring out, make sure you keep these two retainers. Say, for instance, we want to change it to a yellow spring, which is the smallest pressure range. You can see a difference in that spring visibly between the two. We would put it in there. When you put this top on, just make sure the bottom of the the bottom of the nut here sits in this groove on the top of the retainer. You can hear then, and it sits sits flush. It's a metal to metal seal here. That's important. Then simply tighten up your four bolts. You set it with a torque wrench you want but just tight with a socket with a reasonable size lever is fine and then you have changed the pressure setting range on your GP2000 pressure reducing valve